Shakur Stevenson, Bob Arrow, you have some explaining to do because Devin the Dream Haney has just exposed y'all. Let's talk. Straighter. Yep. Not yep. a roundhouse right hand. And that's what we've been talking about. The straight shot is exactly. the one where he gets leverage on it. I don't want to kill Pull back for a, a little bit. Seconds. Nah, I want a body on my record. Now, I want to see you fight, motherfuckers. I do. All right? I'm with you. I'm with you. As long as as long as long you're trying to fight the great, the, your, or the, the, the best competition. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we're here. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we're here. Yo, it's the best fight, the best. If you ain't with the moto, just click the link, bitch, and get buried like the rest. It ain't gonna work how you want it. These trolls already tried, too many come but don't leave. So if you're here, you gotta die. I'm spitting straight facts. These bitches crying cause they hate that. The LDBCs, the top topic, bitch, hate that. We the best to bring the truth to these fans. So why you hate? I'ma laugh and keep counting these bands. Come to the graveyard. Click the link, get the bands. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we don't hear you. Welcome to the graveyard. Click the link if you dare to. Bury you alive, I'm prepared to. Welcome to the graveyard. You get your sources from clowns. So when you come around, we don't hear you. Welcome to the graveyard. So Devin the Dream Haney sent an offer as the B-side to Javante Tank Davis. Now, everyone listening to my voice knows that B-sides don't dictate nothing with A-sides. They don't dictate terms. They don't dictate anything. You accept what is offered or you counter what is offered. Hence, a counter offer. You don't make offers. That is not what you do. That's the reason why all these B-side guys are running around here, mandatories included, are running around here waiting for the A side to do something. That is the reason why Jerron Boots Ennis is not fighting Terrence Crawford because Boots don't dictate nothing to Terrence Crawford. That's the reason why Boots didn't fight Errol Spence because Boots don't dictate nothing to Errol Spence. If, they, if he did, he would have sent them an offer to make a fight. That's just how it works. B sides don't dictate terms at all. It doesn't happen. You don't do it. Now, I understand what people are talking about when it comes to Canelo Alvarez. I get it. I get it. Totally get it. Oh, well, Canelo didn't dict. People who sent Canelo offers, people sent Canelo offers, they sent Canelo offers. Canelo is a one-off. He's an anomaly. People didn't send Floyd Mayweather offers unless your name was Manny Pacquiao. All right? Canelo, Floyd Mayweather did not get offers to fight from people because he was the A-side unless your name was Manny Pacquiao. All right? Devin Haney, as the B-side to Javante Tank Davis, he told the world... He's the B-side to Javante Tank Davis. Devin Haney, like the rest of us, saw the tweet from Tank Davis talking about how he, uh, don't be surprised if you see me elsewhere. Team Haney saw that as this man is leaving uh, Al Heyman. Okay, so we reached out. They reached out and offered that man $20 million guaranteed. He turned it down. That's not what this video is about. Why didn't Shakira Twitterson and his team reach out to Tank Davis? Now, I understand the protection of Shakira Twitterson is going to immediately say, oh, well, BFTB, Shakira Twitterson looked at it the way somebody else did. And he said uh, he's not he looked at it like he's not leaving Al Heyman. Well, let's just say Sh Shakira Twitterson did look at it like the protection, the tank protection squad does. Oh, we were just saying that he's not going to be on Showtime, although Showtime is ending. So no Showtime fighter is going to be on Showtime. <laughs> because Showtime has ended. There is no Showtime fighters fighting on Showtime. Zero. But okay. This man is saying, don't be surprised if you see me elsewhere. How come nobody on Shakira Twitterson's side thought to themselves, I wonder if he's leaving Al Heyman. 
Let's just reach out and see. He's got a Instagram. He's got Twitter. Y'all got his phone number. Yeah, you all you. Shakur Stevenson, you got Tank's phone number, guaranteed. And if you don't, you got Tank's people's number. And if you don't, Jay Prince has Tank's people's number. And if he doesn't, uh, Andre Ward has Tank people's number. Someone on your team has Tank's people's number. Someone on your team. Someone on your team follows Giovanni Tank Davis. Someone on your team follows, follows his people. Someone on your team follows his family. How come no one on your team thought to contact Gervonta Tank Davis and see if he is going to be a free agent like he said he was? How come no one on your team contacted Shakur Stevenson and sent him an offer? Where is Bob Aram at? Bob Aram is on record saying, since Showtime is no more, then we are the major money player in the sport of boxing now. He's on record saying this. All those guys are going to have to come to us. He's on record saying this. So why didn't he say something to Giovanni Tank Davis? Hey, Tank. Hey, it uh, looks like you're not with Al Heyman. Well, you know there's money over here. We're the only money player in town. How much do you want to sign with us? How much do you want to fight Shakur Stevenson? How much do you want to fight the winner of Lomachenko Cambosis? How much do you want? How come nobody from top rank reached out to this man? Oh, BFTB, how do you know nobody reached out to him? You don't know what's going on behind the scenes. Yeah, because Shakira Twitterson will tell everybody what's going on behind the scenes. Shakira Twitterson has no problem jumping directly to, twi to Twitter and tell everybody what's going on everywhere. And nobody says anything. As a matter of fact, what Shakira Twitterson fans will say is all Shakira Twitterson has to do is keep tweeting. Just keep tweeting, man. Keep tweets alive. Keep tweets alive. That's all Shakira Twitterson has to do is just keep tweeting. <laughs> just keep tweeting. That's all you got to do. Tweet, tweet, tweet on down the road, tweeting, tweeting out of my life. So it's like, all, if all he's got to do is keep tweeting, why didn't he tweet? We reached out to Gervonta Tank Davis because he tweeted about him reaching out to, uh, uh, to Lomachenko. Yeah, he tweeted that right on down. Tweedledee right on down the road. Tweet, tweet, right on down the road. He just tweeted it right on, right on, just tweet, tweet, tweet. He had no problem tweeting. Not one problem. So that leads me to believe, leads me to believe now, that no one from Shakur Twitterson's uh, team, nobody, Bob Arum, Shakur Twitterson, nobody, no one on his team reached out to Javante Davis to see if he's a free agent and willing because if he's a free agent, well, then we can make you an offer. Yeah, if you're, if don't be surprised if we see you somewhere else, okay, well, how about over here on top rank with us? We can send you an offer. Just imagine Javante, little Tink Tink Davis, signing a three-fight deal to top rank with a guaranteed fight with Shakur Stevenson next and a guaranteed fight, win or lose with Shakur Stevenson, whether he wins or loses, a guaranteed fight with the winner of Vasil Lomachenko versus George Cambosis. Guaranteed fight. Just imagine that. Yeah. And then one fight of your choosing. You got Tiafima Lopez at 140. Yeah, hey, you can do a rematch with Shakur Twitterson if you lose. Or you can rematch Vasil Lomachenko or George Cambosis' winner. Or dare I say, you can fight Coastlaw Davis. So Tank Davis versus Coastlaw Davis. Yeah, all three of those fights are damn good fights. All three of those fights are pay-per-view fights. Well, maybe not the, the Coast Law Davis. That's on the low end, but it'll be a better fight, a better draw, a better fight than you versus Mario Barrios or you versus Hector Garcia. Gervonta Tank Davis versus Coast Law Davis is a bigger pay-per-view fight than Gervonta Tank Davis versus Hector Garcia. Yeah, all three of those fights are over on top rank. So why didn't top rank or anybody from top rank reach out to Gervonta Tank Davis to see if what he meant by don't be surprised if you see me somewhere else, just to see if what he meant was I'm a free agent. I'm free. I'm not signed to Al Heyman. I'm not signed to nobody. I'm signed to GTD Promotions. 
So I'm free to go wherever, he, wherever. I know Devin checked his temperature. Devin Haney, Team Haney reached out and offered that man $20 million, of which this man said no. And that was it. No. Nothing else. No. No reach out to Al. The man said no. So he didn't re say reach out to Al until he was sitting somewhere in the shower in the dark crying. Reach out to Al. Yeah, he said reach out to Al then sitting in the dark crying. But he did not say nothing about reach out to Al when they offered him $20 million. Why didn't Shakur Twitterson's team reach out to Tank Davis and ask him, hey, man, hey, uh, well, you know, I was looking at your Twitter. Someone contacted me about your Twitter, and they said that you was looking to go elsewhere. We have plenty of room over here on top rank, and I was wondering if you wanted to sign a three-fight deal with us. How come Bob Arum didn't reach out? Don't you guys think that if Bob Arum reached out to Gervonta Lil Tink Tink Davis, don't you think if Bob Arum locked in Tink Tink Davis, don't you think it's a lock that Shakur Twitterson would re-sign? Now, mind you, no one knows if the man's re-signing or not. I'm pretty sure when he re-signs, no one's going to care anyway because no one really gives a, damn, gives a damn about Shakur Twitterson. But let's just say, let's just say Shakur Twitterson was really leaving Bob Arum in top rank. And then they signed Gervonta Tank Davis to a three-fight deal. If Shakur Twitterson left, if he left, that is a blatant and outrageous duck, blatant duck, if he left top rank after they signed Gervonta Tank Davis to top rank. How come nobody checked Tank's temperature? How come nobody from top rank, how come nobody from Shakur Twitterson's team checked Tank's temperature? Hey, little Tank Tank, I, I saw your... Post, man, are you, are you leaving? You Everything good? You good? You straight over there with Al? Or, I mean, you good? Looks like you leaving. I mean, where there's room over here, you... There's room over here on top rank. You good. There's room over here at ESPN. You'll do phenomenal numbers over here on ESPN. You'll do phenomenal numbers. ESPN is the world's largest sport net, sports network. Come on over here to ESPN. You'll do phenomenal numbers on free TV. We can get you in there with a bum. We'll pay you $10 million and get you in there with a bum. Then we'll set you up with a pay-per-view fight with Shakur Stevenson. Then we'll set you up with another pay-per-view fight with Vasil Lomachenko when he demolishes George Cambosis. That's two pay-per-view fights for you back-to-back -back over here. We'll get you one fight over here, get your feet wet, let you get a bum, and then we'll give you two fights on pay-per-view. Back-to-back, Shakur Twitterson, Vasil Lomachenko. Then if you want to stay with us, cool. If you don't, no problem. But we'll give you three fights. Because we want you to fight Shakur Twitterson. We want you to fight Lomachenko. How come Top Rank didn't reach out? Shakur Twitterson is all over the place talking this and talking that. Well, mainly he's only talking about Devin Haney, to be honest. He ain't talking about nobody else. He's just talking about Devin. But that's a whole different story all by itself. But if Shakur Twitterson is out here saying that Tank Davis is the money fight, Tank, 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 he's a money fight. You know, Devin's a legacy, but Tank's really the money fight. Tank's the money fight. Now, all of a sudden, he wants to collect the belts. He don't even want legacy no more. He just wants to collect. Okay, cool, 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 cool. Why didn't someone on Shakur Twitterson's team check Gervonta Tank Davis's temperature when Devin Haney did? Devin Haney's team believed there was an opening to fight Gervonta Tank Davis. They went directly after it. It didn't take, it took hours, not even hours. They saw the tweet and contacted this man. Why didn't Shakur Twitterson's team? Because they don't want to fight Tank. Yeah, they don't, they don't want to fight Tank. They don't believe none of this shit Twitter, Twitterson's talking about at all. Then you motherfuckers run, oh, well, BFTB, he's a fighter. Why wouldn't he want to fight? It's a big money fight. Why wouldn't he want to fight it? Well, where's he at saying anything? Where's he at? So what does he think? Because he's half Puerto Rican, then that's going to be good enough because Tank only fights Latinos? Well, if Tank only fights Latinos because he's half Puerto Rican, he would have been set up an offer. Tank has not sent him nothing. There's too much melanin in his skin. Too much melanin. Tank hasn't sent him anything. So I don't understand where you guys getting off thinking that this man just got to sit there and be quiet and Tank's going to potentially pick him. That's not how it works at all. Tank picks people that he can demolish. 
Well, let me correct myself. Gervonta Tank Davis' team picks people that Tank can demolish. And then Tank goes out and demolishes them. Because they are tailor-made for Tank to demolish. That's why his team picks them. And you guys are stupid enough to buy everything, all of his pay-per-views because you're going to watch him knock out a tailor-made guy. You're stupid enough to pay for these fights to watch this man beat up somebody who was tailor-made for him to beat up when you could pay for him to fight somebody that he might lose to. But that's too much to ask for Javante Tank Davis fans because they don't want Tank in a fight where he can lose. And it seems like the same thing for Shakur Twitterson fans. You guys don't want these men in fights where they could potentially lose. You don't want them in there. You just want them to get paid. But Shakira Twitterson, you had an opportunity to get paid against Giovanni Tank Davis. Your team could have reached out to Giovanni Tank Davis' team and checked the man's temperature and was like, hey, are you, you signed with Al? Because if you ain't signed with Al, what do you want to fight Shakira Twitterson? Nobody did that. Nobody did that. Nobody cared. They allowed this thing to just skate on by, let Devin Haney call this man out, let Devin Haney send this man an offer while they sent him nothing. So with Devin Haney sending this man an offer, that just proved that Shakur Twitterson could have sent that man an offer through Bob Arum. Yeah, Bob Arum and Shakur Twitterson could have sent that man an offer and that could have been the first fight on Shakur Twitterson's new, new contract with top rank, but they did nothing. Devin Haney exposed Shakur Stevenson for what he is. Devin Haney proved to the world, hey, listen, bro, I'm the B-side, I am. But if this man don't have no, uh, he's, if he's leaving, if he's running from where he's at, he's no longer be with Al Heyman, well, you don't have a home. So since you don't have a home, a home let's offer you some bag, a big ass bag, so you got somewhere to fight. Let's offer you a big ass bag so you can come out out of the rain. Since Al Heyman is doing you dirty, having a conversation with Steven that he thinks you don't know about. Okay, well, cool, cool. If Al Heyman is doing some shady business behind your back, and and uh, we this is my interpretation now, not yours, Tank. My interpretation of what your tweet is is that Al Heyman is doing some shady business behind your back. Okay, cool. Well, I'm telling you straight up, we got 20 million for you over here, guaranteed plus pay per view. Where is Shakur Twitterson's offer? Where, why isn't Gervonta Tank Davis sitting somewhere in the dark in the shower right now contemplating between Shakur Twitterson's offer and Devin Haney's offer? Why isn't this man wondering which offer to take, Bob Arum and Top Rank and Twitterson or Devin Haney, DHP and Eddie Hearn and DAZN? Why isn't he sitting somewhere in the dark trying to contemplate and trying to figure it out which one he's going to take? Because he only received one offer. Devin Haney exposed Shakur Stevenson. If Shakur Stevenson wanted to fight Javonna Tank Davis, that was him and Bob Arum's time to send that man an offer. They could have came back later on when, and said, oh, my bad, I thought you was leaving Bob. I mean, I thought you was leaving Al Heyman. My bad, I thought you didn't have nowhere. Well, now that, now that when we thought you was leaving somebody, here's the amount of money that you can make fighting Shakur Twitterson. Why wasn't that offer presented because they don't want to fight him. Devin does. Top rank and Shakur Twitterson don't seem to because they have zero energy. Where's all the energy for Devin? Keep the same energy, Devin. What energy does Shakur Twitterson have? What energy? B-sides can send offer BFTB. What offer did Shakur Twitterson send Giovanni Tang Davis? What offer? Devin fights at 140. Shakur Twitterson fights at 135. Devin rehydrates to 160, 195 pounds. Shakur Twitterson rehydrates to what y'all rehydrate at 135. Yeah, Shakur Stevenson and Giovanni Tank Davis will both rehydrate to about 145, 150 pounds on fight night. They will weigh in at 135 and rehydrate to 145, 150, 155. That's what they both will weigh on fight night. 155 pounds-ish. Because every, all them fighters rehydrate 20 plus, 20 plus pounds overnight, every last one of them. But the only one that matters is Devin Haney. 
Well, Shakur Twitterson is half Puerto Rican. Shakur Twitter, so so you so he's partially Latino. So he's right there. Shakur Twitterson is undefeated. Right there. Shakur Twitterson got a belt. Right there. Right there. Shakur Twitterson is half black. So you can say you beat a Latino and a black guy in one fight. So no one has to put the stigma that you only fight Latino fighters. Because you can say, hey man, this guy right here was black. There we go. And if someone says, uh, oh man, why you, you fight another black guy? You can say, no, Shakur is, uh, is, is Latino. That man meets all the criteria except for being flat-footed. He's not as a fleet of foot as Devin Haney, but he's flat. He's as uh, he's a little bit more a uh, fleet of foot than El Rayo, who's going to fight, or Pitbull Cruz. Well, actually, he's way more fleet of foot than Pitbull Cruz, but he's a little bit more fleet of foot than El Rayo. And that's who Tank's going to fight. And no one's going to say anything, and they're going to praise it. But why didn't Shakur Twitterson reach out to Javante Tank Davis? Because B-sides can send offers. That's what y'all say. The only reason why Devin sent an offer is because Shakur Twitterson presented it like he did not have a home. So why didn't, I mean, because uh, Shakur, uh, Tank Davis acted like he didn't have a home. So why didn't Shakur Twitterson send him an offer? If he didn't have a home, I know you guys will spin it, spin it however you want, spin around to your fucking dizzy, spin to your head pops off your shoulders. Doesn't really matter to me. The facts are the facts. Devin Haney sent that man an offer for $20 million plus a $20 million guarantee plus pay-per-view. Where is Shakur Twitterson's offer? I know you guys will figure something out. And all of it will be a whole bunch of bullshit. BFTB, shout out to the mighty, mighty LDBC, and I'm out.